Chevrolet Cheval First Generation, 1964-1967 The automobile marketplace was changing significantly during the early 1960s and became highly competitive in the smaller sized car segments. The domestic big three automakers, General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler, were responding to the success of American Motors Compact Rambler American and Classic models that made AMC the leading maker of small cars for several of years and increasing Rambler on the 1961 domestic sales charts to third place behind Chevrolet and Ford. The innovative Chevrolet Corvore and the Chevy 2, which was designed to compete with Ford's Falcon, were losing ground. Ford released the mid-sized Fairlane in 1962 to which Chevrolet responded with the 1964 Shiva based on a new A-platform design. Riding on a 115-inch, 2,900mm, wheelbase, the new Shiva was similar in size, simplicity, and concept to the standard-sized 1955-1957 Chevrolet models. The Shiva was the U.S. auto industry's only all-new car for 1964 and was positioned to fill the gap between the small Chevy 2 and the full-sized Chevrolet models. Introduced in August 1963 by Bunky Knudsen, the Shiva filled the gap for Chevrolet with sales of 338,286 for the year. 8. Two-door hardtop coupes, and convertibles, four-door sedans, and four-door station wagons were offered throughout the entire run. This also included a coupe utility, El Camino, which was a derivative of the two-door wagon. In line with other Chevrolet series, the two-door hardtops were called sport coupes. Four-door hardtops, dubbed sport sedans, were available, 1966 through 1972. A two-door station wagon was available in 1964 and 1965 in the base 300 series. Station wagons were marketed with exclusive name plates, Greenbrier, previously used with the Corvore-based vans, Concour, and Concour Estate. Six-cylinder and V8 power was offered across the board. Chevals were also assembled and sold in Canada. While similar to their stateside counterparts, the convertible was available in the base Shiva series, a model never offered in the United States. The Shiva was the basis for the Beaumont, a retrimed model sold only in Canada by Pontiac dealers through 1969. Originally conceived as an upsizing of the Chevy 2 with a unibody platform, similar to the Fairlane and the full-size Chrysler B platform of the same era, which originated with the XP726 program. GM's senior compact A platform used a body-on-frame construction using a suspension setup similar to its full-sized automobiles with a four-link rear suspension. The differential has four control arms which are attached to the frame with rear coil springs sandwiched between the differential and spring pocket. This design was used with the B platform vehicles and later used by Ford Motor Company with its Fox platform automobiles. The Shiva Super Sport, or SS represented Chevrolet's entry into the muscle car battle. Early 1964 and 1965 Chevrolet had a Malibu SS badge on the rear quarter panel. Chevrolet with the mid-1965 Z16 option, priced at 1,501 US dollars in 1965, had the emblem on the front fender as well as distinct in-house style numbers. 737 for the hardtop and 767 for the convertible. The $162 Super Sport package was available on the upscale Malibu two-door hardtop and convertible models. The option added special exterior bright work with SS emblems and the 14-inch full-disc wheel covers from the Impala SS. Inside, the vinyl bucket seat interior featured a floor console for models equipped with the optional Muncie aluminum 4-speed manual or Power Glide 2-speed automatic instead of the standard 3-speed manual. Malibu SS also came with a 4-gauge cluster in place of engine warning lights, and a dash-mounted tachometer was optional. The available 283 cubic inch 4-barrel V8 engine was rated at 220 horsepower the same rating as the 1957 Chevrolet Power Pack 283 engine. Starting in mid-1964, the Chevrolet could be ordered with the division's 327 cubic inch V8, in either 250 or 300 horsepower, 224 kilowatts. 
both used a 4-barrel carburetor and 10.5 to 1 compression. For 1965, Chevrolet also added the 350 horsepower 327 V8 as regular production option, RPO, L79. A total of 294,160 Chevrolets were built the first year, including 76,860 SS models. After 1965, the Malibu SS badge disappeared except for those sold in Canada. A limited 201 Malibu SS 396Z16 big block equipped cars were also eventually produced starting in late 1965, with most being built between mid-March and mid-April. The Chevrolet SS 396 became a series of its own in 1966 with series, style numbers 13817 and 13867. SS396 Sport Coupes and Convertibles use the same Malibu Sport Coupe and Convertible bodies with reinforced frames and revised front suspension, higher rate springs, recalibrated shocks, and thicker front stabilizer bar, but with different exterior trim. They also had simulated hood scoops, red stripe tires, and bright trim moldings. The performance engines available included three, 396 SID V8S, the standard, rated at 325 horsepower, 242 kilowatts, an optional 360 horsepower, 270 kilowatts, and an optional 375 horsepower, 280 kilowatts, respectively. The mid-horsepower 396 was rated at 360 horsepower, 270 kilowatts, for 1966 only and 350 horsepower, 260 kilowatts. Thereafter, the SS 396 series lasted from 1966 through 1968 before being relegated to an option package in 1969. The 1966 and 1967 model years were the only two years of the strut back two door sport coupe with its own style number, 17. In Canada, sporty Chevrolets continued to wear Malibu SS badges for the 1966 and early 1967 model years. These Chevrolets were available with the same equipment as non-SS Malibu models in the US, and did not get the domed hood or the blackout front and rear treatment. Redline tires were not available on Canadian Chevrolets in 1966. A 1966 Malibu SS factory photo shows wheel covers on the car from the 1965 Impala. The Canadian Malibu SS got its SS name from the sports option package under RPO A51 and was primarily a trim option. This A51 option came with bucket seats, a center console, except when the three-speed manual transmission was ordered, standard full wheel covers, and the ribbed rocker panel moldings. The Malibu SS emblems were carried over from the 1965 Malibu SS series. This Canadian option could be ordered with any six-cylinder or V8 engine available at the time. Starting in January 1967, the Chevrolet S396 took over and became its own 138XX series, the same as in the US produced at the Oshawa, Ontario production facility. Only 867 SS 396 models were produced during 1967. Only 200 regular production 1965 Z16 Chevrolets were built at the Kansas City plant. The Z16 option included the convertible boxed frame, a narrowed rear axle and brake assemblies from the contemporary Impala, heavy duty suspension, plus virtually all Chevrolet comfort and convenience options. The Z16 standard big block 396 turbojet V8, fitted with hydraulic lifters instead of the solid lifters of the same motor used in the Corvette, came only with a Muncie wide ratio 4 speed manual transmission. The rear panel of the Z16 had unique black and chrome trim which framed untrimmed Chevel 300 style taillights. Malibu and Malibu SS models had bright silver painted lens trim. The prototype Z16 Chevrolet was built at the Baltimore plant. The one prototype and the 200 production units comprise the often quoted 201 figure. One convertible was reportedly specially built for Chevy General Manager Simon Bunky Knudsen, but is understood to have been destroyed. Approximately 75 Z16s are presently accounted for. 
1966 saw a complete tree style of the Chevelle on the previous frame that included smooth contours, a broad new grille and bumper treatment, and curved side windows. Bulging rear fender lines and a flying buttress roof line, tunneled into the C pillar, were highlights of the 66 hardtops, shared with other GM body models. The new body reflected the Coke bottle body shape that became the fad for American cars in the mid 1960s. A four door hardtop styled sport sedan joined the Malibu series. It was an attractive car and was offered through 1972 but never achieved the high production figures as the pillared sedan. Chevelle's continued in 300, 300 Deluxe, and Malibu trim. Available engines were 327 cubic inch V8 instead of either of the sixes, or the mid-level option, a 220 horsepower 283 cubic inch V8. Options included a tachometer, mag-style wheel covers, and centered metallic brakes, four-way power seats, a tissue dispenser, and cruise control. The 1967 models received a facelift. Large wraparound tail lamps went into a new rear end with standard backup lights. What you'll see inside, claimed the sales brochure for the 1967 Chevelle, will probably bring on a severe compulsion to go driving. Front disc brakes were available on all models, and a new dual master cylinder brake system incorporated a warning light. Chevrolet also added 14 inches wheels and a 3-speed automatic transmission to their line of transmissions. New safety equipment became standard, including a collapsible steering column. The SS396 continued as its own series with both sport coupe and convertible body styles. The 375 horsepower 396 cubic inch V8 was dropped from the options list until late in the model year and returned with 612 being sold. Seven transmissions were available, two manual three speeds, two manual four speeds, an overdrive three speed, and two automatics. The manual shift feature of the turbo hydromatic transmission was featured. Options included super lift air shock absorbers. Stradivari's headrests, and special instrumentation, 